the arrivals of our special guests. Thank you. I recover that my assumption of duty as vice president. That is the president who is not so Early this year, I visited all my customers and challenged each colleague on how to address their potential to improve on their contribution to local and national development. I also recall that I discussed the need to boost the productivity and internally generate the revenue of the college of agriculture by engaging the farm managers to coordinate from oversee operations and commercial farm. I am glad that the decision has yielded fruit as there have been steady increase in the farm produce this year. Some of the farm produce are displayed and put and purchased. First, during the call of cancer to this college, it is easy to focus and then during a level of the ceremonies in September this year. I also know that various products of the farm are regularly brought to the main campus for the sales of the staff. Thank you, Mr. Sicilia, College of Agriculture. Though this is highly significant, I further charge the college to increase its effort in this area so that our host community can feel our operating impact the more. I want to assure the people and all staff of this college that, be that because of the strategic importance of the College of Agriculture to ensuring national food security, management is poised to consistently support the college for maximum output and productivity. I must confirm to you that we have completed the required processes and procedures for accessing and utilizing the multidimensional Central Bank of Nigeria Union to boost the university's local production and processing of poultry products by leveraging knowledge and experience along the poultry value chain through the structural institution poultry revival scheme initiative. That project is for this college and we are very sure it is going to have a lot of impact on our students' practical experience and on the socioeconomic life of the host community. It is also targeted at boosting the university internally generated revenue. Though I was not the vice chancellor during the tenure of late professor Adebo, I am fully aware of his great impact on this college through his selfless and visionary pioneering job. He was an enigmatic and transformational leader who was bent on actualizing the lofty goals and founding objectives of this university. Let Professor Adebole was an upright leader who made decisions without a compromise of prejudice and always led by example in the place as a founding apprentice of this college. He was a great mentor who was tutelist and mentorship. A good number of young scholars at that time have become globally renowned adults in the academia. As a community of scholars, we have a tradition of keeping our history alive and being guided by our institutional history. Late Professor Adebuin is one of those without whose contribution this history, the history of the university, would not be complete. This is why I did not hesitate to approve the proposal of the project to hold this annual lecture in memory of the late bodybuilder and agricultural scientist. I'm happy to note that the topic of today's annual lecture, Professor S. S. Adibri, an icon of rural prosperity for inclusive sustainable development. 
and the and the current of the Faculty of Agriculture in the prestigious Premier University of Ivan or your state Nigeria. in agricultural extension and rural development. Stella has spent the work of the Court of Gender and Equality and relevance to water, energy, and food system, among other households for sustainable development. She happened to be a powerful manager that worked very hard with ladies of the to express the agricultural extension and rural development of the living department of agricultural economic and extension. All areas of agriculture, aging and social Professor Deborah has developed a 
And it's a certain church to work on rural development for equal redistribution of big of income. The first video is finished from the rest of my very high one. Source of the very energetic. Next question, assumption, I don't know. I don't know. What's the power of all the voices about the rural area? Where are the voices on how to eradicate the rural poverty through sustainable food security? That I have to Message. And that's why we have called it many times. Red men talk about the rural area. The red men talk about the station. The rural area. Even by sleeping on the road, it does not matter. And that's why it's really the missing the station side. We collaborate with men, men, NGOs, and business. From very beginning, and this is the same thing that we all, if we went to Bible school, went to the rural area where we talked about not only the academic, but talking about even more those who go to the rural area. He was very passionate about the rural area, mainly for prosperity. Thank you. 
social resources, processes, institutions, and infrastructure. That is the whole system. And then that is the form of the production, processes, distribution, preparation, and consumption of food. It's also in the blue, the impact of these activities on nutrition and health, such as economic growth, equity, and environmental sustainability. So, we can find a sustainable system that guarantees food security and nutrition for all. That is the food system we are talking about. So every function within this system can lead to food and nutrition institute. And that's why I was saying to you, a farmer, even now we are going to be reaching clearing from our land and the park. Our neighbors are going to be greater than what they are doing this time. That we should talk to farmers as they are not now. Make sure you try to provide with a plant vegetables, with a plant broken pot, with a plant that's pregnant, and without necessary food to the to the farm. And so at that time we had to go meet and we all went out and talked about the television there and there. And I must confess to you, we tried to use that whole thing in UI and to make a security code. And uh, like I tell you, in a week they made a video on a small, a small attention. This is an experiment, they want a demonstration fan. They made it in a week. Now they now went out and they came out and they came to all the farmers. I found it that young and all of that, they were able to go to the plant. So we should be conscious of the fact that we need to go out we want to go out and take this message to more than far. That's the challenge that we are going through in Nigeria. Now, rapid population growth, urbanization, income growth, changing construction patterns and urbanization, uh, as well as climate change and division of natural resources, have altered the global food system that we are living in. And you look at them, they have a system whereby when they are stopped, they are created a room, something like a room, and then the machine that went as well as the floor is the whole of the floor. The floor, the that machine is on, that small room, and the floor goes towards that and will go away from where.
the society. If there is no increase in such things, and we keep taking all that we have at some point, if there is no point of contribution, it will begin to experience more that. So that is the situation we are in Nigeria. Next slide. So, the sustainable development. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the development is defined as an approach to developing or growing by using resources in a way that are allowed for them to renew or continue to exist for all the they are all So when you use the size the size of materials or renewable resources, what do you mean? An example of sustainable development. In the end of the most of the resources of material they are recycled. And I, I, I hope that the time they were using the broken bottles from uh, Africa to the point where the broken bottles to melt and then fish some other women and have to make uh, beads and all of that. There are many that can also recycle in Nigeria and we are making development of sustainable development. The concept of social development without the environment, without the social, then we have to talk about that in the next step. So, social development practices help countries to go in ways that adapt to the challenges posed by climate change. Of course, climate change is in Nigeria. There are different things in Nigeria. And I know that they call that something. You see, most of the time, they make gas masks because gas masks, they always make it made of uh, solar. Solar panels everywhere. In fact, they drive it, they use solar energy to drive their cars. So, when they put it in the city and they refuse to go to where it's cold and that kind of things, that means that we need to think about having sustainable development in practice. Not only when we have the problem, but that's all that all my idea. We enjoy the life, we enjoy the energy, we are not in life. And what is the tension and that kind of attitude for some time? And the whole of the life and the tension of that is generated by one of our people. So they don't rely on the system. In fact, it took some time before they now fit their ever life. And when I got there, I was. And that means that you have to make the value of supplying energy for the whole university. There has been two thousand for seven. This is a kind of thing that I think we can also follow for the university. So, so this is the development of health and to grow in ways that adapt to the challenges that is posed by climate change, which will be done in order to protect the natural resources. For our and the future generation. I know in Africa that they do it in Africa. That they also they also use this model. Once the university is open, and I think we can also change it to information state to university. You can control the irrigation system from your classrooms or from your home. You only need to register the university. Once you are part of the system, then you get that technology available. That can make the energy also sustainable and we can plant in time and we can have to secure it. So, by the year 2050, it's estimated that our global population is likely to be 90 million. So, the social development is that whether that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future. We are in for us to do that. The idea is for us as a tertiary institution to make our environment ourselves. We are not really reminded of things that we are reminded of. It's very important for us in the country. Professor, I will give you the word for that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Now, essentially, 
so that the policies can help strengthen the community. It can improve the quality of life and it can also provide hope for a better future. We are well aware the AGO is in place here. I believe we can reach out on our farm, to farmers, to the airlines, and make it easy. Everything is sustainable without even denying of the government to provide this and that. If you push out the government, you will not have to support us to the bomb. Environmentally, sustainable practices can also help protect natural resources. We can be prepared and adjust. So that we can help the people that we are that we assist our students. And so, even when they finish from the school, they can practice some of them that will be helpful to the people that we go there for employment. What are the benefits of sustainable development? First of all, that we meet the need of the present generation. If we don't rely on the world that we are going to do, we can plan and force them. We can make what you say. Put uh, soil at the back of your house, put vegetables in it, begin to grow, save the vegetables when you need it, take your yam and fry it, your tomato and all of that at the back of your house. You can make more sustainable It promotes the natural resources. The conservation, preserving the the capacity of the ecological system, avoid the reposition of Into 
because we are the food for the day and the day. Yes, that's the day. I try to show you the day that we are going to see. That also is the day that farmers are going to be useful. Just as now we may, the woman will grow most of this quality. Let me clap for you. I would just want to be able to do that. 
contributed very significantly to the development of this college. It's like the party.
of learning, learning. A world class institution, institution. Building disciplined leaders, building quality lives. Globally competitive graduates are the product of inertia. Home of culture.